Welcome to this training video from JSR Life Sciences Separations Science Group. In this video, we will cover the best practices for column packing of Amsphere A3 in a 1.6 centimeter inner diameter small scale column, as well as details for this procedure. Please note that proper lab safety is required at all times during the column packing procedure, including the use of lab coats, protective glasses, gloves, and follow all applicable company and government regulations for product handling. Before you get started, make sure you have all the materials you need at hand. Amsphere A3 resin. We will need 100 to 110 milliliters of product slurry. This will provide 50 to 60 milliliters of resin volume. An Acta Avant 150 system or similar FPLC systems a high-scale 1640 or similar column, 0.1 molar sodium chloride. During column packing, we will use 2 to 5 liters as a packing buffer. A 500 milliliter plastic bottle. You can also use a 500 milliliter glass beaker, a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, one electronic pipette with several 50 milliliter pipettes, a level, a plastic syringe, Finally, you'll need a flashlight, calculator, and a marking pen. The first step in column packing is the buffer exchange of resin. You can follow along with the navigation bar at the top of your screen. For this example, we will do the buffer exchange of resin by decantation. First, mix the product bottle gently and thoroughly to disperse the resin. Don't use a magnetic stirring bar as this can grind the resin. Second, transfer 100 to 110 milliliters of the dispersed slurry to a 500 milliliter bottle with the electronic pipette. It's important that you make sure that the resin in the slurry is completely dispersed. You will know this when the slurry looks homogeneous. Next, add the 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution up to 500 milliliters of total volume. Then disperse the resin again. Now, settle the resin by gravity for at least two hours. You can also use centrifugation as an alternative method. Once the resin is settled, remove the supernatant by decantation. You will need to repeat steps three through five for a total of three times. Finally, add 0.1 molar sodium chloride up to about 90 milliliters of total volume. The next step is to do a measurement of the slurry concentration. Disperse completely and transfer all the resin to a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder with an electronic pipette. you will need to settle the resin by gravity for at least two hours. Please don't tap or shake the cylinder because the gravity settled bed of Amsphere A3 can be easily disturbed and its settled bed height can be affected by tapping or shaking. After two hours has passed, read off the slurry concentration. To complete this step, you'll need to calculate the required slurry amount needed for packing. The formula for this is Slurry amount equals cross-sectional area in centimeters squared times bed height in centimeters times compression factor divided by slurry concentration times 100. The recommended compression factor is approximately 1.15 for high scale 1640. Before we get to the flow packing, you need to check to make sure that everything in your system is ready to go. Perform a pre-activity inspection to ensure that all column components are fit for use. Then install a packing tube to the column and make sure the tube is securely fastened to prevent leaks from occurring during packing. Now mount the column to the column holder of the Acta Avant. Next, remove any trapped air in the bottom adapter by applying a 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution 
up through the net using a syringe. Be sure to leave a meniscus of sodium chloride over the net. And insert the bottom adapter up to the about 10 centimeter scale mark position. Tighten the end of the bottom adapter along with its associated O-ring. Now mount the column to the column holder of the Acta Avant. Use a syringe to introduce a few milliliters of sodium chloride solution through the net. Install a stop plug to the column outlet. All that is left is to confirm that the column is level. And equilibrate the system with sodium chloride using the pump wash command on the Acta. After equilibration, you are now ready for column packing. Now, we will begin flow packing. Start by dispersing the resin in the graduated cylinder completely and transfer the required amount of slurry with an electronic pipette. As always, make sure that the resin in the slurry is completely dispersed. Next, top up the packing tube with sodium chloride solution until a meniscus develops at the top. Remove trapped air in the top adapter by applying 0.1 molar sodium chloride solution up through the net using the Acta system set to 1 milliliter per minute. Insert the top flow adapter at a 45 degree angle to prevent air from getting inside the column and then tighten the end of the adapter. Securely fasten the O-ring. Remove the stop plug at the bottom adapter and connect the column to the system. Flow 0.1 molar sodium chloride to consolidate the resin until a constant bed height is obtained. In this video, the resin was consolidated at 800 centimeters per hour. After a constant bed height is obtained, stop the flow. Next, disconnect the column outlet from the system and install a stop plug. Disconnect the column from the column holder. Uninstall the packing tube from the column. Be sure to perform this activity over a sink or an area that can catch the residual buffer. Mount the column back to the column holder of the Acta system. Attach the top adapter again using the same procedures you did earlier. Slowly lower the top adapter until it's one to two centimeters above the resin bed. Tighten the O-ring. Lower the top adapter by slowly turning the end cap. Be sure to stop right when the adapter meets the top of the resin bed. Once again, connect the column to the system using the same procedure shown earlier. Flow sodium chloride at the appropriate flow rate until a constant bed height is obtained. In this video, the resin is packed at 800 centimeters per hour. The recommended packing flow rate is equal to or greater than 120% of your maximum process flow rate. 
If the bed height is difficult to determine with the naked eye, use a flashlight to reveal the height and then label it with a lab marker. Once the bed height has been noted, disconnect the column outlet from the Acta and install a stop plug. Disconnect the column inlet from the system and lower the top adapter to the marked bed height. Now, reconnect the column to the Acta system. Finally, flow sodium chloride at the packing flow rate for two to five column volumes for conditioning. The last phase of column packing is to check your column integrity by determining asymmetry, HETP, of the packed column. A typical acceptable asymmetry value is 0 0.8 to 1.8. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to contact JSR Life Sciences Separation Science Group for additional information.